The following program is intended for informational purposes only and not as a standalone training tool. Please refer to the Flexco website and other Flexco literature for detailed instructions. Prior to any work on your conveyors, make certain that the power has been turned off and that the belt is locked out. Follow other safety precautions outlined in the operator's manual and be sure to wear all recommended safety equipment prior to engaging in any belt maintenance procedure. Before installing a splice using Flexco rivet hinged fasteners, it is important to make sure both ends of the belt are square. For information on recommended belt squaring procedures, please consult Flexco literature describing belt squaring techniques or the Flexco video entitled Correct Belt Squaring Procedures. Once the belt is squared, installation requires only a few simple tools. Specially designed tools have been developed to simplify the installation of Flexco rivet hinged fasteners. The MSRT multiple rivet driving tool is portable, easy to use, and simplifies the task of driving multiple rivets simultaneously. The MSRT holds the belt, the fastener strip, and the guide block securely in place and each guide block holds enough rivets to install up to four fastener plates before reloading. For quick installation of the R2 fastener, Flexco has developed the R2T fastener application tool. The R2T installs up to 300 millimeters of fasteners in one pass. For wider belts, simply move the tool over. R2 fasteners can also be installed with the MSRT or the SRTA tools simply by using the R5 fastener setting. As with all Flexco mechanical fasteners, rivet hinged fasteners are designed for easy installation. Installation procedures for all of the Flexco rivet hinged fasteners are essentially the same. Minor changes to the procedure will depend on which of the installation tools you decide to use. We will demonstrate installation procedures using the MSRT tool. Once the belt ends have been squared, measure the belt thickness as well as the diameter of the smallest pulley around which the belt wraps at least 90 degrees. Along with the belt's mechanical fastener rating, use the rivet hinged reference chart displayed in Flexco literature to select the fastener size that corresponds to those measurements. Next, position the MSRT on a wooden supporting board sized to span the belt. Lift and turn the gauge pin guide to correspond to the correct fastener size. Then, center the fastener strip on the tool with the Flexco imprint facing up. Be sure that the holes in the fastener strips and the anvil plate line up. Insert the gauge pin through the guides and fastener loops. Now, center the belt in the fastener strip. Rivet hinged fasteners feature a small viewport that you can use to make sure that the belt end is positioned snugly against the belt stops. Tighten the hold down bar to secure the belt. Before the guide blocks are set in place, set all fastener top plates with hammer blows. Next, place the SR700 guide blocks at each end of the fastener strip and tighten the clamping screws. Spray the interior cylinders of the guide blocks with Flexco SL5 silicone. Now you're ready to load the guide blocks with rivets. Rivets can be inserted one at a time, but to help make rivet installation even faster, use the Flexco Rapid Loader collated rivet strips. They come pre-assembled in a single strip and let you load an entire guide block at one time. Using a hammer, and beginning with the end plates, tap the collated rivet strip lightly to release the rivets from the plastic. Once rivets are inserted, push the rivets deeper into the guide block channels using the driving tool supplied with the MSRT and drive the rivets into the belt. Reset the guide blocks to the center of the belt, load the rivets, and drive these rivets into the belt. Once this step is complete, Reset the guide blocks to drive rivets into any remaining fastener plates. When all of the rivets have been driven, remove the guide blocks and set all of the rivets. The fastener plates are properly set once the belt exhibits a slight puckering around the edges of the fasteners. Now remove the gauge pin and belt clamp bar. Lift the belt off the tool, 
and knock off any pilot nails still attached. Turn the tool over and remove all nails. Once you've repeated the steps we've just described on the other belt end, bring the belt ends together and insert the hinge pin. Be sure to compress one loop and only at one end of the fastener strip. This will help prevent pin migration